everyone and welcome back to my channel. This tutorial is going to be on this purple smoky eye look with a gold glitter on the inner corners. If you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using the uh, Maybelline Fit Me foundation in soft tan bronze. And uh, this is the matte and poreless version. So for my highlight and contour, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in medium. I'm going to be using the color cream for my under eye, the bridge of the nose, and my forehead. And then I'm going to be going in for my contour with cinnamon. And then to deepen my contour, I'm going to be using the color chocolate. And I'm just going to set my entire face with uh, translucent powder. This is the Benai translucent powder in banana. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get started on the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to be using the Meat Matrimony palette from The Bomb. And the first color I'm going to be using for my transition is uh, Matte Lopez. So whenever I do an eyeshadow look, I love to wing out my shadows so that they can give my round eyes the illusion that I have more almond shaped eyes. So for my crease, I'm going to be using the more burgundy color. It's um, Matte Kumar in the palette. And again, I'm just going to take it and just continue to wing it out and just keep blending it in. So I'm going to be going in with Matte Reed to put all over my lid. I swear on the palette it looks kind of like a brown color but as you can see it's definitely more plum than brown which is what I was not hoping for when I bought this palette but whatever it still looks beautiful. And I'm just going to go in with a clean blending brush so that I can make sure that there are no harsh lines. And I'm just going to repeat the same process for my under eye using those exact colors in the same order using Matte Lopez, Matte Kumar, and then Matte Reed. And then I'm using Matte Lin for my brow bone. Now on to my favorite part. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Cosmetics Glitter Glue to stick down the gold glitter on my inner corners. And honestly, I was just having so much fun here. I just wanted to keep on adding as much glitter as I possibly can without looking so crazy. And now for the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with my BH Cosmetics Contour 2 palette to contour my face. I felt like my eyes weren't as dramatic as I thought they were going to come out. So I wanted my contour to be really deep and dark. And for my blush, I'm using NYX Cosmetics Ombre Blush in New To Me.
And then I'm going to be mixing two highlighters from Becca Cosmetics. I'm using Champagne Pop and Opal so that I can get that blinding highlight. But uh, obviously the lighting in this room did not catch it. But if you're a fan of Becca Cosmetics and you happen to have one of these two, you know that these two are really, really bright. And yeah, you, you know that highlight was there. It was there, I promise. And for my lips, I wanted to just keep it nude, so I'm using L'Oreal Paris Exclusive Collection by Julianne. And then this is basically what I do before I walk out the house. I just let my hair loose and shake it until I feel like the curls are sitting back in place. So I hope you guys like this look. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe, like, comment, and I will be forever grateful. Thanks for watching.